decade. It is 6 p.m. on April the 9th, 2019. This is the time set for the Planning Commission of uh, Roy City. The notice has been posted and published according to law. We will begin our meeting with Pledge to the Allegiance. Would you please join Commissioner Karras? <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. All right, item number one is declaration of conflicts. Is there anybody that is on the commission that has a conflict with any of the agenda items today? No. No. There being none, we will proceed to item number two. Item number two is to consider a request for site plan and architectural approval for a heritage park located at approximately 5550 South 2700 West. Is the proponent of this item present? Yes. Would you please come up to the microphone and give us your name and tell us what your address is and then tell us what you want to know about your project. All right, uh, my name is Spencer Box. I represent uh, Enzyme Services of Owens Heritage Park. Um, it's uh, located approximately 5600 south and 2700 west. And uh, uh, overview on the project is all you asked for? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the project uh, in total, um, the building hasn't been updated since 1960. Uh, it has old systems in it, so the uh, the portion that we're discussing tonight uh, is a, a U-shaped driveway that will come off of the main parking lot um, and come around and then pass in front of the front door uh, so that we're able to drop off patients, um, so that we're able to have ambulance uh, access to the front doors, uh, things that way. Currently, um, fire truck and ambulance access is at the very back of the building, and that is quite troubling, troublesome with the uh, patients and things that way, just trying to get them out of the building. So we're trying to improve the front of that building to where we can actually access the front of it. So um, that's the portion that we're discussing tonight, I believe, unless you want other portions of it as well. So. That's the proposed portico at the front door that it receives. Right. Any of the commissioners have a question? So is this big enough that you could drive an ambulance through the the turn? It is. Yeah, I think uh, 30 foot radius is what we're required to have for the fire department. And, and that's then, okay. And then another question I have is Looking at the design of that, I think it leaves a lot to be desired aesthetically. Are there any other things that you've considered as far as the, you know, I, th I think the concept of having a drive up, I think that's great, but looking at this, I think it does leave a lot, and I'm just gonna speak frankly, it does leave a little bit to be desired. Are there any other alternatives that you've considered on that? We haven't. <laughs> um, basically, we're trying to match the, the building in some ways. I know it's, it's old and, and without doing a lot of added work and extra costs. Um, we were trying to provide a portico that would provide, that was basically a minimalist look, I guess, uh, provide cover for the patients to get to the front door. Um, but honestly, it's it's there more for solar panels, to be honest with you, than, than a look, I guess. It's, it's a, core, a cover to get the patients to the front door, but it's gonna have solar panels on it as well. Have you considered, you know, like the building itself has like the rock, the rough rock finish. Have you considered even something like that on the concrete? Yeah, in fact, the, the rock, some things like that. The rock is going to change. I, I mentioned part of the project is the project is centered around an energy project where we're updating the HVAC systems, electrical systems. Um, right now, every window in the building is single pane window, so we're uh, proposing to tear out the windows and tear out that rock in between the brick um, and redo all those windows and uh, wall sections to up the R value and make that building more efficient. Uh, it's bleeding, heating and cooling out of it right now. So um, that, that look is gonna kind of change a little bit as well. But, but we have, this is 
this is strictly a, um, what am I trying to say, an idea, um, but the idea was to dress up the bottom columns a little bit with the rock that we put on the front underneath the windows, um, but try to match the building. Any other questions from any of the commissioners? Mr. Parkinson? Okay. Um, as mentioned, this is um, Heritage Park there on the north west, northeast corner of 55 and 2700, uh, or 56 and 27, sorry. Um, the area we're talking about is kind of well, as outlined here. Um, as you mentioned, it's a U shaped kind of a drive up, which, you know, Nothing in the ordinance says you can't do anything like that. And in fact, I think for this particular use, I was surprised that there wasn't already one. Um, in the staff report, you do have some of the of staff's concerns with it. Um, I don't, I know it says it in landscaping, there's some concern, but as I really got looking at the project, um, there's a lot of landscaping. Um, so there's not much of concern by eliminating some of it, but um, there are a few other things, and tonight, with the comments that they're going to remove the the, the rock in between the, the building up, or between the bricks on the building, we'll need to know that as well, because uh, anything any exterior changes to the building needs their approval. Okay. Um, so that's kind of a little concern that I have is not knowing that the building exterior was going to be changed as well. But if they're going to you know do some sort of cultured stone or cut rock and stuff like that in between. That's a material that's allowed in the ordinance. So, um, if that's what's proposed, and depending on what the the commission wants, if they want to see it or just direct staff to to review it and approve it, uh, we can do it that way. I, I do agree with Commissioner Cowley. I, I think dress, dressing up those columns um, instead of just exposed concrete, maybe having the same rock that's uh, maybe put on the, the building again to kind of tie it in. Um, there's nothing in our ordinance that says, that as as presented, the, the portico is bad. <laughs> um, it does have some unique shapes and, and angles and stuff. So that's really what the, the ordinance is looking for: is some, you know, shadow lines and stuff that it creates. Um, but I think the the bases of those columns, if dressed up, will would be an improvement and <clears throat> kind of match what the the building itself would look like. Um, so staff would recommend approval based on um, the concerns within the staff report. And he's been provided with a copy of yes. this? Yes. Right. Okay. You, you, you've seen it? I have, yes. Okay. You got any problem with doing what you need to do? No. No. Uh, <laughs> I right. guess, how, how would I, how would you like me to present the finishes for the outside of the building? Just we'll let them figure it out. Okay. Well, I would suggest that you come back in and do that at another time so that we can approve it. Okay. Um, just get with Steve and uh, we can do it in one of our meetings. It shouldn't take long, but we need to make sure it meets the, the requirements that we have for it. Meets the requirements that we have for it, sorry. Okay. That's my suggestion. I second his suggestion. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you have any other questions? No, uh, we're just working on the comments that I got from Steve, and okay. we'll get those back to you. Uh, okay. If you, if you do pretty much what he tells you to do, you're probably going to be okay. okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, I did have. Uh, sorry, yes, I did have one more question. Uh, there was a comment in there about the width of the uh, U-shaped the lane. Yes. Uh, for fire uh, truck um, access, is that? Is that a necessary item that we have to widen that out to 26 feet, or is that? Uh, that's a fire requirement, so you'd have to get with the fire marshal. Um, in most other cases, it is 25, 26 feet where he needs. Okay. So you'd have to get with him directly. Okay. Okay. That's not necessarily a planning commission issue. It's more fire. The, fire. Okay. More public safety. <coughs> that, yeah. they, that they do. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Okay. Well, thank, thank you. you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you. This will need to be two motions, one architectural and site. Okay. Well, I will entertain a motion for the, uh, regarding the site plan. So just, can I ask a clarifying question? <coughs> okay. do that? So we could approve the site plan as is, but if we want them to come back 
and present? Would that be the architectural plan that we would put on? Yep. Put on hold. And you can do it that way, or if you trust staff, then you can have staff just look at it. So depending on what you wanted to do. So we could have a motion that uh, they come back and clear things with Steve. Yes, yeah, so we could table it. Basically, would be our. Well, it, that's again one option. You can approve. And have him bring materials to staff to approve or bring back materials to approve for you guys to approve we can we can approve what he's got here and then ask him to come back for the rest that would be the probably the best thing to do yeah so if we're going that route then we would approve the site plan but the architectural plan we would make we a caveat on present, present yeah to see so the we can make a motion to approve the site plan subject to him returning no Site plan, oh, site plan. I, I think it's more architectural that yeah. you have the problem. That's what I said. I'm sorry, I said site plan twice. Yeah. Okay, I meant the architectural plan. The second, the second motion. Yes. Okay. All right, let's talk about the, the site plan. Is there a motion for the site plan? I move that we approve the site plan review and conditions as stated in the staff report. Is there a second for that? I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any nays? There being none. Yes. We need a second motion as to the architectural review approval. Uh, do I have a motion for that? I'll make a motion that we table the architectural view and then just have them come back and present that to us again. Is there a second for that? All second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? There being none, that will be the order. Uh, so basically when you get all your come on back up so we can hear one another <clears throat> when you get all your materials and whatnot come back to Steve Steve will put it back on here you'll get to come and see us one more time yeah, I sure excited excited about that. <laughs> you should be excited and uh, and it should go through okay perfect all righty appreciate it item number three Commissioner's minute. Does anyone on the commission have something that they want to make public? <laughs> Seems how you put it that way. No. <laughs> now that I put it that way, it's no. Okay. Or ask any questions, and I can update. <laughs> Would you like to ask Steve any questions? Have you Just, heard any uh, feedback yeah. about the uh, calming circles? I don't think so. Right. <laughs> No comment. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Well, I, I, I do have a question. And okay. It's, it's to me. When we name, when streets are named in Roy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who does that? Who approves it? Generally, it's the developer that proposes the names. Okay. And, and unless there's life safety issues with the name nothing happens and if there is if there's issues, issues with the name um maybe you need to clarify what the, to their six commissioners what you're talking about <laughs> okay there is a street called park view or park drive or park something. lane park lane okay it's over in the west park subdivision west park subdivision right and next to west park drive and that's where and parks. West Park whatever and all of that and so the proposal I understand is that it somebody wants to change it to Tammy Lane that's not some well we were contacted by Weber County Weber County okay this helps me. now I can't necessarily say if it was GIS 911 whoever whomever to change the street name okay um, their thought was hopefully more West Park Drive because you have 4600 South West Park Drive as your address. Well, there's 30 plus homes on that road, mm -hmm. and Park Lane has West addresses as well. Um, so you'd have 2617 West Park Lane. Um, in fact, when I sent letters out, I got them, some of them back because they couldn't find it. Okay, <laughs> fine, anyway. right. And there was only 11 homes on that. So staff thought, well, let's change that name less people inconvenienced uh, we're talking with the developer Tammy Lane was Tammy Lane was the one decided upon okay. the name and then phase three was recorded with Tammy Lane 
and letters were sent out saying, please change your stuff. Tammy Lane is what it's going to be. And <clears throat> it first came from Weber County. Correct. I By the way, post office is ecstatic. Ecstatic. <laughs> By the change. Post office agrees wholeheartedly. Not necessarily for the name, but at least that something got changed. Good. <clears throat> now I can go home, Steve. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. Any staff updates? Huh? And CF updates. Well, just one other comment is the uh, survey with the pictures and stuff like that. I've seen some of that information out there. Um, where are we at as far as the process of updating the code? The general plan? Yeah. Um, well, they're still in the process, of course. Uh, that was just one of the the surveys that they put out. Thanks to Miss Moore here, she People put like it up. Trees. She put it on um, Facebook, so we got a lot more comments from it, which was good. I'm not a Facebook person, so I didn't have a clue how to do it. And when she offered, I just jumped at it and let her run them with it. Um, the zoning code or the mixed use form based code, I've actually got the draft on my desk and I'm going through it and saying, okay, we got to change this and we got to change that. And um, so that's a lot closer than anything else. Thank you. So. I'm hoping to get through it in the next week or so, but it you know it is 80 pages long. So, mm -hmm. so then will that come to us? I uh, will. We'll get a new draft from it, and then we'll yeah start the process here. Okay. Cool. We may have a joint work session, so the council can get on the same page, or or may not. I don't know. We'll be given the opportunity. Yes, but it has to go through Planning Commission first. Okay. All right. Anything else, Steve, you need, we need to know? Well, well, most of the development that you've approved lately, the townhomes up here on 19, are, you know, four buildings are already up and some mm -hmm. of them are enclosed. Uh, they're hoping for permits for the next row. Uh, they just got to install some streets now. Um, Sunridge Assisted Living is almost done. They're on 55 and it or 56. Looks pretty nice. I drive by there it's, a, it's a nice looking building. <clears throat> um, the townhomes up on Midland and 4,000. The mm -hmm. original landowner has sold it to somebody. Okay. So now they're kind of taking the reins and running with it. Haven't got any new submittals, but I have spoken with them There's several times. There's changed ownership. Yes. Okay. Um, Think of what else? IHC. Do what? IHC is going. Right? IHC. Yeah, there. They dug a hole. <laughs> it's <starting. laughs> Yep. They. Uh, I know the council wanted to be there for a hole digging ceremony, and they just went no. Nope. <laughs> started going. <jumping. laughs> they. They were in a hurry. Okay. Well, that'll be a nice addition down there. When yeah. get it done. Yeah. It's going to be about eighteen to twenty-four months. So they have to get the building f first built, move everything, and then they can tear down the old. Okay. And this is kind of off agenda, but I usually do it anyhow. Is there anyone in the audience that wants to address us on any issue at all? To tell us anything. Leland, will you hit help? him for me? <laughs> okay. Then I will accept a motion to adjourn. I move that we adjourn. And a second. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Bye. <laughs> <coughs>
to my daughter. Oh. oh. I wanted to be she, she had inside information. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no wonder Dad said, yes, yeah, it's a short one. Can I was hoping it was a public meeting and I would have had to get up in opposition. Oh, okay. Well, you can always bring her to the next one because we'll have three public hearings. Nice. Wonderful. All on the same project. But. Okay. Hopefully there's horse property or animals involved. It's good. Yeah, there's not. Uh, there's <laughs> just for entertainment value. And our lady down to 6,000 to show up. Saying, 1947 when I moved here. Oh, didn't know I had so many landowners. <laughs> I don't know what you said that made me think of it, but we were talking about the courts, I think it was. It dawned on me that between the...